If you ever had a question about engineering but didn't get a helpful answer, this video is for you. Maybe you asked your teacher, your senior engineer, or even ChatGPT, and still no clear answer. See, the problem isn't that people don't want to help you. The problem is how you are asking questions. Today, I'm going to show you a simple way to ask questions that makes it way easier to get the right answer and i'll give you examples so you can start using this today part one the biggest mistake when asking questions all right imagine this you're trying to bake a cake is this even a cake a whey protein cake that's why it looks like dog and you ask your friend hey why is my cake bad and then he answers what do you mean by bad is it burnt too dry did it not rise see your question was too vague your friend has no idea how to help you now imagine this instead hey i followed a chocolate cake recipe but my cake turned out super dry i used one cup of flour whey protein and half cup of cacao should i add more butter next time see the difference now your friend can actually help you now imagine you're designing a steel beam that looks undersized you ask your senior engineer is this beam okay and your senior engineer responds well okay in what sense are you asking about strength are you asking about deflection is it the connection details your question was too vague and they have no idea what you really need now imagine instead you ask hi i was checking this steel beam spanning seven meters it's a shs 150 by five and based on my calculations the deflection seems excessive for imposed live loads should i increase the section size see the difference now your boss or senior engineer actually knows what you're talking about and can give you a proper answer this video might seem trivial but trust me it's extremely important for your growth imagine that the relationship between knowledge and time for you is this linear graph the line for your mentor or senior engineer is steeper because they obviously have more knowledge than you you grow faster by listening to them and asking questions so every proper answer that you get your knowledge line steps up a little until eventually you know as much or even more than that person most engineers especially juniors ask vague questions and expect perfect answers but if you want good answers you need to give context so let's break down exactly how to do that the five-step formula for asking smart questions whenever you have a question follow this five-step formula number one what you are working on so explain the project number two what is the problem so be specific about what's wrong and number three which i think is the most important part of the formula is what have you tried you have to show your thought process you have to show that you put in effort and then number four what do you think the solution might be so make an educated guess i think the solution might be and number five ask for confirmation so you end with a specific question like am i on the right track so let's say you are reviewing a foundation design for a residential project and you notice something odd you go to your senior engineer and say hey i think there's a problem with the footing design can you check it again that's too vague what's the issue the depth the soil bearing capacity the reinforcement so a better question is hey i'm designing a strip footing for a double story house the geotechnical report suggests an allowable soil bearing capacity of 100 kpa but the current footing width is only 300 millimeters so based on my calculations the bearing stress exceeds 100 kpa should i increase the footing width or should i consider a stiffer soil assumption boom that is a hundred times more useful now your senior engineer actually knows what you're asking and can give an informed answer why this method works think of it like this asking vague questions is like calling a concrete supplier and say hi i need concrete and they're gonna answer oh do you what mix 20 mpa 32 mpa do you need what slump do you need are you pouring a slab or footing a wall 
what size of aggregate. If you're not clear, you won't get what you need. When you ask better questions, you get faster and better answers. And that applies to on site, in meetings, and even in emails with clients. And this is especially important if you're asking someone busy, like a senior engineer, a project manager, or a consultant. If you waste their time with unclear questions, they might not want to help you next time. But if you ask clearly and concisely, they will see that you respect their time and will be much more willing to help you. I'm gonna give you a bonus tip, and this section is called solving your own questions. Before you even ask someone, try this. So step number one, search on ChatGPT, Google, or YouTube. You would be shocked how many answers are already out there. Go to a YouTube channel called The Brazilian Engineer in Australia and type your question. Maybe you'll find your answer. And also develop a system for problem solving. Having a structured way to approach questions helps you become more independent and efficient in your studies and work. For example, in our structural engineering community, we have a Notion page called Engineering Second Brain, where we're building a library with as much useful information as possible condensed in one single place. So it makes it much easier to research anything. Step number two, write down your questions using the five-step formula. Sometimes just by writing it out, you will realize that you already know the answer. Most junior engineers don't do this. They just blurt out the first things that pops into their head and wonder why they get vague or frustrated responses. So be smarter than that. And next time you're stuck on a problem, don't just say, I don't get it. Instead, follow the five-step formula and watch how much better your answers get. I hope this helps and I'll see you in the next video.